This episode of Budget MTG Decks is sponsored by TCG Player, the best place to buy your cards in the US. This episode is also sponsored by Card Market, the best place to buy your cards in Europe. Welcome to Budget MTG Decks. All the cards you see in our videos are a dollar or less, with exception of the Commander cards. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes out. Hi, welcome to Budget MTG Decks. I'm David. Today we're going to be looking once again at five must-have magic cards you won't believe are under a dollar. Now these cards all used to be more expensive, have recently dropped in price either because they rotated out or got reprinted somehow. So they used to be more expensive, now they're cheaper. So you know there's power in there. Let's have a look at the first card. The first card in our list is Rapid Hybridization. For a single blue, it's an instant that allows us to destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated, and that creature's controller is going to create a 2-2 green frog lizard creature token. Now, blue is renowned for its inability to deal with creatures, usually having to rely on counter spells or bounce spells to get rid of those pesky creatures. First printed in Gate Crash, Rapid Hybridization can destroy a creature at a ridiculously low cost and at instant speed nonetheless. The fact that the creature's controller gets a 3-3 token is negligible. Functionally the same, Pongify is selling for almost $4 right now, showing you how valuable it is to pick up your Rapid Hybridizations right now. If you're still looking for uncharacteristic instant creature removal in blue, we also recommend Reality Shift. Up next is Seize the Day for 3 in a red. So for 4 mana we get a sorcery that allows us to untap target creature and then it's going to give us an additional combat phase. We can also play this card again from our graveyard by paying its flashback cost of 2 in a red, then we do have to exile the card after that. First printed in Odyssey, this card essentially gives us 2 extra combat phases for 7 mana. It is awesome for any deck which wins through extra attacks, like Narset Enlightened Master or Xenagos God of Revels, or damage trigger commanders like Yidra's Maelstrom Wielder or Naheb the Eternal. Remember that this card only untaps one creature, so you can't swing it again with the whole team, like with Relentless Assault, which is also a budget card. The third card on our list is Vorapede for 2 and 3 green, so for 5 mana we get a 5-4 Insect with Vigilance, Trample, and Undying. Now Undying states that when this creature dies, if it had no plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, we're going to return it to the battlefield under our control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Aggressively costed, this solid beater eats removal and then comes back as an even bigger threat. The Vigilance and Trample means that it's superb at both defense and offense, and if you really want to take advantage of the Undying mechanic, which we recommend that you do, we suggest that you pair with ways to either remove the plus one plus one counters from it, like with the ability of Samic Guild Mage, add minus one minus one counters to it, such as with Hatchet Bully, or make sure that it cannot get counters placed upon it at all, such as with Solemnity. Our next card is Tassiger the Golden Fang for 5 and a black. So for 6 mana we get a 4-5 Legendary Human Shaman, which has Delve, which means that we're allowed to exile cards from our graveyard in order to reduce the casting cost of this spell by 1 generic mana. It also has the ability to pay 2, a hybrid green and blue, and another hybrid green and blue. So for 4 mana we can put the top 2 cards of our library into our graveyard and then return a non-land card of our opponent's choice from our graveyard back to our hand. In the right deck, this will be a 4-5 for a single black mana with built-in card draw. What is not to love about that? If you play it as your commander, Tassigar not only gives you great card advantage, but also gives you access to blue, black, and green, giving you a great selection of cards for a powerful reanimation deck. In modern, you can pair with Gurmag Angler to have some of those powerful creatures you can cast early game. The last card on our list is Tulsimir Wolfblood. For 4, a green and a white, so for 6 mana we get a 3-4 Legendary Elf Warrior. It states that other green creatures we control get plus 1 plus 1, and other white creatures we control get plus 1 plus 1, and we can also tap it to create a 2-2 Legendary Green and White Wolf creature token named Voya. Selesnya token decks will love the addition of this card as it pumps the team and also creates a 4-4 token at instant speed. Remember that the token is legendary so you won't be able to populate it to get more copies. However, it does pair quite well with cards such as Reese the Redeemed, Mercy Killing, and Conclave Cavalier. Well, those are 5 must-have magic cards you won't believe are under a dollar. Now remember these cards are inexpensive now, but there's no reason to suggest that they're not going to go back up over time, so pick them up right now when they're quite cheap. 
And if you do, and you want to help out the channel, pick them up via our sponsor links in the description below. That would really help out the channel. Thank you very much. I'm David. This is Budget NTG Dex. Find all the cards discussed in this video in the description below. Also, show you're a fan of the channel by rocking this awesome Budget MTG Dex merchandise. This show was made possible by the support of our loyal patrons. Head on over to patreon.com slash budgetmtgdex and donate as little as a dollar per month.